Greg Udelhofen for ConstructionPros.com. I'm here at the uh, Con Expo 2017. I'm with Tyler Peterson, who is the um, large excavator product specialist, and we're here to talk about the Hydro Dig. Uh, introduced in the European market in, at Balma last year, first introduction here at North America. And tell me about this machine, because again, the application, uh, the way it's configured with uh, um, all the power parts are underneath it versus behind it like it normally would be for an excavator. Talk a little bit about that, Tyler. Uh, what we've done is taken all of the uh, main components of the machine, the engine, the hydraulics, put everything down in the mm -hmm. chassis. By putting everything down in the chassis, we've been able to have a, a minimal tail swing on the back here. Right. Uh, it's only got five inches of overhang on the back when you slew it uh, around the side. Um, in terms of maneuverability, it's got two-wheel steer, four-wheel steer, and crab steering. Um, so you can really get the machine wherever you need to on a job site, especially in, in tight congested areas. We have a JCB Ecomax engine in here okay. uh, that meets Tier 4 final EPA legislation. So what we've got on this machine, Greg, is uh, this is the JCB Command Plus cab. Okay. And it is basically a state-of-the-art cab. Um, it's very well laid out, ergonomics, it, great, uh, great visibility. Everything you need in there is all the controls, everything are laid out for the operator to be very comfortable in the, in the machine, especially if they're going to be working all day. This is the operator's office okay. for the day, and so we've done everything we can to... Very good. From the cab, uh, talking about visibility, it's one thing to just say, oh, it's, it's got great visibility, but truly you can see all four tires from the cab, so you, can, you know exactly where the machine's footprint is. You can back up to, um, you know, you can, you can move back to objects, you can get very, very close and, and be safe knowing what you're doing. We have a steel wrist on the front, uh, which is a tilt rotator, just in, in conjunction with how, with all the benefits and features of the machine itself, by putting a steel wrist on the front, uh, it just it adds to the versatility of the machine. Okay. Um, it's able to spin, so if you have pallet forks on the front or any different attachments on there, you right. can twist the bucket to the side, you can spin it 360 degrees, you can tilt. It just adds a lot more versatility to the machine and, and adds more uh, productivity out there on the job okay. site. Uh, this machine is capable of going 25 miles an hour, uh, so, and it's got a smooth ride system, so it's going to be a very comfortable drive trying to get from the shop to the job site or even move, maneuvering around on a larger job site. Mm -hmm. uh, just that, just the speed of the machine is actually going to let you be a little more productive on the job site. Right. And, and as far as uh, uh, targeted utilization, I mean, is, is there a segment of the market in North America where you see this as, as being very appropriate or kind of your initial uh, introduction? Yeah, so, so we, we see a lot of, a lot of uh, opportunities here in both the muni departments, so for local okay. governments, because um, on the front end of the machine, we've got all the hydraulics that you can need to run any, any attachments. You can run uh, mowers, you can run uh, whatever you need to for, okay. for local governments who are responsible for multiple uh, departments or multi um, utilities, uh, you know, cleaning up the sides of uh, mowing and ditch ditching, kind of cleaning up okay. uh, multiple things. And then we also see a, a use for this machine in the, construct in the construction segment uh, and more kind of like downtown and urban areas where it's very congested right. uh, because it has that maneuverability and that small footprint to, to be able to get into these, um, these tighter quarters. Okay, and so this is that dealer's now? Correct. Will be? It is. Um, so these are the first four machines that are here. Uh, so we have four machines here at Con Expo. They're the first four okay. to come into the country. The, we have more on the production line that are currently uh, in production to be shipped over here, but they will be available with dealers by the end of the month. I'm sure a lot of people will be anxious to, to, for it to be here and, and have a chance to use it. Correct. Yep. All right, thanks, Tyler. Appreciate it. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Greg.